friends i am professor hemant d lagdive working as assistant professor in nb navle singhad college of engineering solapur i have total 20 years of teaching experience today we will discuss about economics of tooling the contents of our today's session will be elements of tool or tooling cost methods of depreciation estimation of total cost and sales price break even analysis for equipment selection economics of small tool selection equipment replacement and economic order quantity for batch production economics of tooling the term economics of tooling is used in this chapter is a very broad one it includes machine tools such as lathe machines small tools such as jigs fixtures dies etc the problems which are encountered in economics are whether an ex- old existing machine should be replaced by the new one or not for a given job which machine tool will be most economical one that we can decide with the help of economics of tooling which is the most suitable process to produce the part or the component for all these purposes the annual cost method is used or applied most of the times what is annual cost method the annual cost is the sum of fixed cost and variable cost fixed cost is associated with the productive unit that is machine or plant are those cost which are independent of production rate whatever may be the production rate these cost are independent for a given machine tool these fixed charges are made of depreciation interest taxes maintenance etc that is fixed overhead items variable cost are those whose increase or decrease in sympathy though not directly with sales or production volume these cost includes basic materials direct labor and variable overheads then let us go for depreciation what is depreciation it is most important item in the fixed cost it represents the general decrease in the useful value of a machine with the passing of time that means as time passes the value useful value of machine decreases or cost decreases there are two types of depreciations first one is physical depreciation and second one is functional depreciation physical depreciation of mechanical equipment results from deterioration and this deterioration is a function of time as time passes the components or mechanical equipments used to deteriorate that means it doesn't give the desired um, desired function or doesn't work properly functional depreciation is largely dependent on time it is encountered in case of comparatively new materials there are two methods of distributing depreciation the first method is a straight line method and the second one is sinking fund method first method straight line method this is most widely used method because of its simplicity it is simple method it assumes that the decrease in value during the lifetime is directly proportional to the elapsed time depreciation per year if we go for calculating is given by the formula co minus cs whole divided by small n where c suffix o is the original or initial value of the machine c suffix s is the salvage or scrap value of the machine and small n is useful life of machine in years then the second method is sinking fund method in this method the interest earned 
on the yearly amount is compounded periodically for this let us say let small d is annual deposit in reserve fund capital s is the sum to be provided at the end of year's full life therefore s will become s will be equal to co minus cs where co is original value cs is scrap value small n is expected useful life in years capital i is the annual interest rate on the investment d then from this we can go for accumulation for the first year investment by sinking fund method is given by the formula d into bracket 1 plus i 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 small n minus 1 similarly accumulation for second year investment will be equal to d into bracket 1 plus i to the power n minus 2 therefore accumulation for n year investment will be equal to d or d into bracket 1 plus i to the power n minus n n minus n will be 0 and 1 plus i to the power 0 is 1 therefore accumulation for n year investment will come out to be small d let us see one numerical on depreciation the numerical is like this the original value of machine tool is rupees 2 lakh 50 thousand and its salvage value at the end of its useful life of 20 years is 25 thousand find the value of machine tool at the end of 10 years of its use by straight line method so let us write the given data given data is original value is given as 2,50,000 CO is given as 2,50,000 CS is given as 25,000 N is equal to 20 years let us calculate depreciation per year CO minus CS divided by N 2,50,000 minus 25,000 whole divided by 20 will come out to be 11,250 value of the machine tool at the end of 10 years will be 2,50,000 minus 10 multiplied by depreciation per year 11,250 so this value of the machine at the end of 10 years will be coming out to be 1,37,500 let us go for second point break even analysis for equipment selection break even point Break even point is based on principle that while the cost of two alternatives are affected by the common variables. Total cost total cost 1 is equal to F1 of X where TC is total cost per time period per piece for alternative 1. Similarly we can go for alternative 2 also that is TC2 will be equal to F2 of X. So at break even point TC1 total cost for alternative 1 will be equal to total cost for alternative 2 that means we can write F1 of X is equal to F2 of X which can be solved for a X small x let Q be the quantity of production at the break even point therefore we can write fixed cost plus Q into variable cost will be equal to Q into selling price where fc is fixed cost vc is variable cost per piece sp is selling price per unit and q is quantity of production at break even point break even analysis break even point is also used to make the choice between the machine tools to produce a given component to determine which of the machine is more economical the total cost of the two machines is plotted against the number of units so cost is plotted along along the x-axis and the number of units are plotted along y-axis the point at which these two lines representing the total cost of two machines meet each other is termed as break even point or BEP mathematically we can write as FC of A plus Q into VC of A will be equal to fc of b plus q into vc of b where fc is fixed cost we know and vc is variable cost per unit and q is 
number of components that is quantity to be produced so we can conclude here from the previous equation we can write we can solve it for q or we can get q quantity to be produced at break even point will be equal to fc of b minus fc of a whole divided by vc of a minus vc of b where q is quantity to be produced fc is fixed cost and vc is variable cost then let us talk about estimation of total cost and sales price elements of cost the constituents of cost of a product are the material cost labor cost and expenses material cost direct material cost that is cost of raw materials which are required to be processed indirect material cost that is cost of material on which helps in processing the components raw materials such as cotton waste coal oil gas or gases used for gas weldings etc labor cost direct labor that is operators of the machines indirect labor maintenance staff office staff administrative staff staff will come in this indirect um, labor expenses direct expenses expenses of direct labor direct material cost of jigs fixtures dies etc will be direct expenses indirect expenses expenses of indirect material indirect labor factory expenses administrative expenses selling expenses etc will be indirect expenses cost structure prime cost is given by direct material plus direct labor plus direct expenses then factory cost is given by prime cost plus factory expenses manufacturing cost is given by factory cost plus administrative expenses total cost is given by manufacturing cost plus selling and distribution expenses and selling price is given by total cost plus profit this is how the cost is calculated selling price is calculated total cost is calculated then economics of small tool selection and equipment replacement why we have to go for why most of the industries why most of the companies are thinking of machine replacement there are certain reasons major reasons for machine replacement are first one is to increase the productivity to improve the product quality to accommodate changes in the product size to eliminate safety hazards to obtain a maximum rate of return to reduce cost of production to increase capacity to reduce the tool cost these are some of the reasons why the organizations or companies are thinking of replacing the machine tools economics of economics of small tool selection equipment replacement economic studies these are done to select between alternatives and to decide equipment replacement policy the terms which are used in economic studies are first one is asset an asset of a company is valuables such as buildings machineries equipments materials etc which are owned by the company salvage value it is estimated value of an existing asset at which it can be disposed of or scrap value we can say it as then receipt it is any sum received by the company from its products and services it's also known as income profit or revenue thank you thank you very much